So, we got another storage unit the other day. Uh, this one looked to be real promising. It's two units. Here, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Uh, don't let me flip. All right, so this is two, and take it back here if I can. Two 10 by 10 units. They're side by side. This middle wall in the middle is split out. Uh, kind of look promising. Com both units completely full according to the pictures. Uh, so we ended up taking the bid up. We got kind of in a bidding war at the last minute. But uh, so we ran up here the other day. We started digging through stuff and looks like this one is a bust. Um, I'm back up here today to get stuff, but look at this. This unit is full. You're looking at all this stuff, all right? We started going through all these boxes. Every box is junk, is mail, or manuals of crap. That's a whole box full of just empty boxes. I mean, it really, really sucks. I mean, there's an Xbox 360 box, but it's completely empty. You got a printer box over there. Crap. There's a fax machine, but that's garbage. I can... Um, I mean, this is the coolest thing I think we found in here was this uh, brass elephant. It's a couple golf clubs, um, some bags, some glass to a table, but I can't find the base to it, so... Um, this little trunk down here is kind of neat, but there's nothing really of value in it. Um, there's some wall art over here. Uh, there's a decent kitchen t or table here. Uh, there's this bench, but the leather's all split, so not going to be worth a lot there. There's an ottoman here, but it's mildewed to hell. A busted old speaker down here. <laughs> um... A bed's back here and a frame, which frame's good. People will buy a frame. Um, there's two of these uh, shelf units. Hopefully that's like 20 bucks a piece on those, but it's gonna be a struggle looking at all this stuff. It looked very promising. You see all these boxes, you're gonna think, yes, good stuff, but not always is it good stuff. So hopefully I'm gonna get in here today dig out what i can put it in the trailer but as of right now i think we've uh we really screwed ourselves on this one um i don't think we're gonna you know hopefully we should break even maybe i'm, I'm hoping there's a few few promising pieces in here that if if we can find the right buyer for it um, and like I said, I still got to dig because Jen, I dug over here already and, but I haven't sorted everything out. So I'll pull everything out. Maybe I'll shoot another video of, of pulling out all the stuff that's keep out of here. And then just, uh, kind of saving grace is that, uh, stipulation in the auction states that anything with personal effects like this paperwork, uh, we're supposed to leave in the unit. So... Uh, this unit will be probably be half full of personal personal items like this paperwork so I don't have to haul that off thankfully because uh, that'd be a sucks that I have to pull out somebody else's garbage but there's probably about 14 boxes of just paperwork with people's names and bills and I mean I could totally steal this dude's identity there's probably enough stuff in here to to easily do that so all right, I'm going to get to work and uh, I'll uh, shoot another quick vid uh, when I'm done. All right, about 45 minutes I've gone through about half of this unit. Not even quite half yet, almost half. But I still got these boxes to go through. But so far, all these boxes are either empty boxes, garbage, or just random paperwork. A couple more books there I found maybe. I pulled all this stuff out hoping that this stuff is going to be decent but so far nothing grand empty box for the the, the three 360 that glass got broken on that piece um, 
a junky speaker looked pretty promising but then the speaker looks like it's been chewed up a couple of old electronics which i'll be able to turn in and get credit for recycling credit um, this table i thought was going to be really promising but it ended up being really roached already so that's kind of disappointing so I'm not going to be able to see much money but i still have all these boxes that have lots of stuff and i still need to i'm going to purge through those before i load everything up but um so far uh, nothing nothing grandiose has popped out just this dude was a hoarder and collected all of his paper so i don't quite understand his story there's a lot of christian stuff in here but then there's a lot of stuff that looks like it's uh drug related like like scales and stuff like that which is really weird and a lot of pirated cds so i'm like is the guy christian or, or not a christian and it does look like i guess at one point in his life he did go to some kind of uh, uh boot camp for uh troubled teens or something probably earlier in his life but it's got stuff all the way from grade school back when he lived in atlanta um and then some college stuff so i don't know if he tried going to college or somebody else went to college but Interesting story so far, but uh, I'll update later. Alright, so I've gone through everything, I believe. So, those three shelves look like they're decent. This dresser looks pretty decent. It's a Broyhill. These old shelves here are got a stamp from like 1980. They're a little beat up. The one's got a little bit of water damage in the back, but I don't know. I think I'd probably give 20 bucks for it, maybe 30 bucks. Fingers crossed. Uh, all this is garbage. I'll take these rails out. Bed rails, for whatever reason, seem to be pretty pick. Because I guess when you buy a new bed, you don't get the bed rails. You got to pay extra for them. So people always want bed rails. Um, mattresses look to be in decent shape, but you just can't find anybody to buy mattresses. Uh, this dresser. Got really nice hardware on it, but the uh, it's really cheap crap wood. We got two photon mattresses, um, garbage. Like I said, this furniture is just mildewed, gross. So that's just straight garbage. Got nice hardware though, so I may pop the hardware off of it. I don't know, but all this is just nothing but either empty boxes. Or paperwork I've never seen this much paperwork but it's sad because you know you saw all these boxes and you're thinking payday so it did seem to be a little bit more salvageable stuff out of here a microwave uh, this Primo water dispenser looks like it's brand new never been used whole box of Chris or kitchen stuff another box full of Chris or kitchen stuff some kind of laundry basket thing tons of books so all this, a lot, lot of smalls, nowhere near as much as you would think that there was going to be. So I think we probably will end up breaking even with what I'm seeing. Uh, worst case scenario, if we maybe after gas and everything, we may lose out a couple bucks. But this is definitely not a winner's unit. I did not find anything of extreme value. Um... There was some jewelry over here, so maybe I'll get lucky and find a piece of jewelry or something. Maybe a piece of sterling or something that uh, may say maybe a saving grace here uh, of helping to break even. But uh, definitely not a winner unit. So uh, still a couple boxes here that did have stuff in it, but I hadn't really. I was like, all right, that's good stuff in there. I'm not going to dig through it right now. Just take it straight to the market and sell it. Um, so it's going to be a tough one, but, um, is what it is. 